As you may be aware, the government has been carrying out a robust vaccination campaign against the COVID-19 disease countrywide after the pandemic struck our country. This exercise has been a great success due to the cooperation we've received from county governments, as well as the many Kenyans who heeded to our clarion call and turned out in large numbers at the various vaccination centers for their first, second, and even their booster doses. We do call on county governments to do all they can to ensure that all vaccines in their facilities are administered. Fellow Kenyans, the vaccines that we have, the vaccines that are available across the world, have short shelf lives. And therefore, this short shelf life is a challenge to many countries across the world. Indeed, expiries of this life-saving supplies have been reported in both developed and developing countries. In Africa, we've seen cases where we've had countries destroy expired vaccines. This includes our neighbors and other countries within the Horn of Africa. Here in Kenya, we at the Ministry of Wealth are working with county governments and partners to do everything possible to ensure that the vaccine doses we have have been utilized before expiry. Measures taken include conducting campaigns, outreaches, timely redistribution of doses from counties with low consumption to those with higher consumption. We received information to the effect that despite our hugely successful campaign that saw on certain days us being able to vaccinate close to 200,000 doses in a day, and more than three million doses that were administered over a two-week period, that the country may not be able to utilize all the AstraZeneca doses that are available before expiry. We have reviewed data returns from all the 47 counties across the country. Preliminary reports indicate that close to 840,000 AstraZeneca vaccine doses received through the COVAX facility have expired. These reports indicate that every county has some expiries, with the highest being in Nakuru at 35,000, followed by Busia at 27,980, Kajiado at 25,770, Kakamega at 12,870, Kwale at 11,730. As we concluded the campaigns that we had, we noticed that there was a preference some people demanded certain types of vaccines, and when we offered them AstraZeneca, they declined. Yet, we've always emphasized that all vaccines approved by the World Health Organization are effective in the prevention of severe diseases and also in preventing the need for hospitalization. So going forward, we are instituting the following measures to minimize future potential expiries. One, henceforth, Kenya, shall only accept donation of vaccines whose shelf life is at least four months at the time of delivery. Two, we shall work with counties and partners to scale up communication towards demand generation and continuous community mobilization. Number three, counties must ensure continued prioritization of COVID-19 vaccination and implement measures that ensure utilization of all doses within their jurisdiction. And four, we do call upon you, all eligible Kenyans, to show up at the nearest vaccination post to get vaccinated and to ensure that you're protected against the COVID-19 disease. It is also worth noting that we are soon getting into the flu season, which globally has been associated with a spike in COVID-19 infections. The time to get protected from possible risk of infection is now. And finally, I continue to urge each and every one of us to continue adhering to the containment measures that we have advised, to maintain high levels of hygiene, and to show up and avoid those missed opportunities. Come forth and get vaccinated. The doses are available.